How's it going everyone? I'm Slavin Utorski and welcome to the channel and what do I have going on today? Today I picked up something I thought was really cool from PC Toys, which I think it's Pocket Cosmos. I think that's the name for it, but I saw something I had to get and that is a little gun locker for 112 collectibles. So let's go ahead and check it out. This was too good to pass up. So opening it up here, of course you get a little styrofoam on it, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you. There we go, so here we go, this is all metal, like this is not plastic, this is actual metal. So you can see it's a whole cage set up. Kind of like a military cage. You have this side, it's kind of indented. This side is flat, so that will be down. The doors open up all the way. And inside you have more packing, so get that out of the way. And I'm assuming these are the shelving units. So you'll see you have little ridges here, or little bars going across. That must be where the shelving goes. Now, I'm not exactly sure if I'm right, that's bottom and that's top. I do feel like the opening on the bottom is the bottom here. I keep calling it that, so that will now be the bottom. All right, so let's open these up. So these are all just little pieces of metal. Going like this. If you've ever had a gun safe in your life, you pretty much know how to do this. It's like a little mini gun safe. There's another one drops in right there. Ah, I didn't see this. So this one has some rifle things on it, or some rifle uh, holders on it. This one seems smaller. So this one. It's just like a little miniature gun safe. Sorry about all the crinkling of the paper, I'll stop. So you have two smaller pieces right here. So that gives you an idea what's going on there. So these two should actually go up top. There we go. That one's up. That one is also up top. Get in there, there you go. Uh, nothing holds them, it's just gravity that holds them on there. And then these two, most of the time you want rifles leaning backwards. So what we're gonna do is the little one's gonna go on top and the big one's gonna go on the bottom. Uh, looks like I got a little bend in that. You know what? <laughs> That's not bending back, so we're gonna leave it. There we go, just like that. And I brought some goodies to put inside of here. So all those gridiron guns that I had before, those are all gonna go in here. So we'll, first off, we'll get the AK ready. There we go. See how that fits. That fits pretty good. Gonna lean it back. Let me try uh, opposite. Maybe I want the big one on top and the little one on the bottom here. There's a couple ways this could go. Mm, that still seems weird to me. Maybe I just want this one on the very bottom. bottom. And this one I want on top. Maybe we'll do it that way. There we go. Oops. It's hard to do when it's so small. So I keep turning it up, it's because it's not secured. There, get in there, there we go. And then we'll put one of the pistols up here. Put the other pistol up here. Stick the Tavor in there as well. Awesome. Let's see if the M60 wants to go in there. 
should. It's kind of big though. And we'll put it in the second position. M60 goes right in. Uh, Mythic Legion's Mace. Let's see if that will go in there. Yeah, it still works. <laughs> we'll put the extra magazines on top. Uh, we'll stick the bipod on top. Somebody would do that. And the ammo belt on top. And there we go. You see, everything is in there. I know you're like, see? What do you mean, see? It's too dark. I can't see. Give me one second to adjust the lighting. How's that? Much better. So you can see... I'm going to pan the tripod a bit here, so bear with me. Yep, I was not holding it when I did that. Magazines on top, bipod, a couple pistols. You got that Mythic Legion's mace, the AK, the Tavor, the M60 are all in there. And the little doors do shut. Apparently that was a little too much for that. Maybe with the magazines in there, it's a bit much on the doors. They don't want to shut all the way. So let me lock the tripod. Mace doesn't want it. But then again, why would you necessarily want to close the door? You kind of want to see what's in there, right? Uh, I would maybe suggest some tape or some putty keep things in here because they're kind of rocking and rolling there we go what's hanging this up don't you fall over not after all this work there we go and over there and the door's shut sort of I think the M60 is just a little too fat or is it that it's holding it up Oh no, it's the other door. It was actually getting hung up on the other door in the bottom here. So there you go. You actually have a nice little gun cabinet or gun locker for your figures. Uh, as you can see, oh, now it's, it's shut shut, isn't it? So it is metal, so you might have to move the pieces around a bit, but it might be a bit too big for the Mythic Legion stuff. But as far as like the gridiron guns, these actually fit really, really well. And uh, I am not mad at that. So that's pretty nice. Put that back up top there. But yeah, cool stuff. I really like this. This is neat. Uh, I'm glad I got it. I got a few other things from Good Iron coming in, so we're going to have some fun with that. I'm going to actually get my figures or own little armory set up. So this will be cool. <laughs> but uh, let me know if you guys have messed around with this and uh, if you like them or hate them down in the comment section. I think this thing's cool. I felt a little overpriced, but I think it was like 40-ish dollars, but uh, still pretty cool and uh, kind of fun just to have it. You know me, I already reviewed the pews before I was reviewing the collectibles that much. Now I have my little mini pews in here, or I should say their mini pews. So pretty cool. You could probably fit, uh, I don't know, five or six rifles in there, maybe a couple more pistols, multiple magazines, You're good to go. <laughs> But cool stuff. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. I think this is really cool. I've got the other figures out here so you can see what they are. How big this is compared to them. It is very good for 112 scale. Uh, that's pretty much how a locker like that would be. About the size of you. So you can see everything in there. Maybe a little bit bigger in some cases. But I think it's pretty well designed. But uh, yeah, just wanted to do a quick short one for you. If, you know, Because I don't really do short videos that much anymore. And this one's almost 10 minutes, so it's not that short. So let me wrap it up. But I want to thank everyone to stop by to watch the video. I hope you did like it. Don't forget to toss those comments and thoughts down in the comment section. And I hope everyone out there stays safe. Keep your family safe. Don't give up on your goals. You can do it. Just keep pushing forward. All you have to do is keep going. Don't stop. And remember to keep active, stay strong, and I'll talk to you guys again in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you then. Later, guys. If you're interested in learning more about the channel, feel free to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook social medias. 
Uh, here you can find more about what's going on in my personal life as well as behind the scenes of the channel. If you are interested in the gaming content, I do stream to Twitch before I upload any of the gaming content to YouTube. And if you wanted to follow me on Twitter, any contests I enter, I put friends links in there so we can both get some bonus entries. Out.